Hey guys, I'm Connor with Rippin' Discs, and today we're gonna be going over speed, glide, turn, and fade, and the four numbers that are on the disc that you have no idea what they mean. Feeling lazy today, so we got the cart. The first number that you're going to see on the disc is the speed and what the speed is is it's the width of the rim and what you need to know about it is that to get the right flight characteristics of the next three numbers you have to throw at that speed. So for a putter that's a two speed you don't need to throw it quite as hard as a driver that's a 12 speed. Remember that speed is not how fast the disc flies. So for beginners many times it's better to throw a seven speed than a 12 speed. 12 speeds are just too fast for beginners and they'll fade out too fast. But a seven speed, you'll be able to get the flight characteristics you need to get the distance you need. Now when we look at the second number on the disc, that is talking about glide. The higher the number, the more glide it has. The lower the number, the less glide it has. Typically, an understable disc is going to have more glide. As it turns up to flat, it will just naturally rise and glide a little higher when an overstable disc will have a lower glide number because its tendency is to stay down and cut in low. The third number on the disc is going to be your turn and the turn ranges from negative five to plus one. Negative five is gonna be your more understable disc and plus one is going to be a bit more overstable. And for right hand backhand throwers, that negative five is gonna go straight or maybe even turn right for you. For the right hand backhand throwers throwing it with the plus one, it's gonna curve to the left a little bit more. For beginners, we highly suggest throwing the understable disc, that ranging from negative five, negative four, negative three, because you will be able to throw it straighter with a lot more ease. The last number we're gonna look at is the fade of the disc. It ranges from zero to five, five being the most fade on the disc. So when you're throwing right hand backhand, it is its tendency to fall to the left at the end of the flight. So when you have a five, that is the most overstable disc you can really find. And then zero would be a more understable disc depending on the turn number. When you're beginning and just starting out, an overstable disc is gonna be a difficult disc to get distance with. It can be a very utility disc, but we do typically recommend keeping it a little bit lower with a two to three finish for beginners just so you're not getting frustrated and not getting that distance that you wanna see. Thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully you learned something new. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, watch another one of our videos, go cop our merch. We'll see you in the next one. Rippin' Discs, we're out.